And now on a more horrendous note, horrific news out of Sri Lanka, an island nation off the southern coast of India. There are at least 220 people who have been killed and 450 more injured after eight coordinated bombings across the country on Easter Sunday. The explosions occurred at churches as worshippers attended Easter Mass. There were also bombings at three hotels popular with foreign tourists. There are close to 30 foreigners among the dead, according to Sri Lankan officials, who said there have been arrests made this morning regarding the bombings. South Korean President Moon Jae-in responded to the attacks on social media, offering his condolences. I want to go now to Hong Yu, who joins me from Arirang News Center with more. Yu, what's the latest? Well, Kanye, we now know at least 228 people have been confirmed dead and several hundreds are injured. This was an attack on eight locations, including churches and hotels in a number of different cities. Around 32 foreign nationals are among the dead, including several Americans and five British nationals. The death toll is expected to rise. It's unclear who is behind the attacks, but around a dozen people, all Sri Lankans, have been arrested in connection with the coordinated bombings. The six initial explosions that took place at three churches and three hotels appeared timed to cause maximum casualties among worshippers attending Easter Sunday services and customers eating breakfast in the hotel's restaurants. The Sri Lankan government has declared a curfew in Colombo, the nation's capital where most of the bombings took place, and blocked access to social media and messaging sites such as Facebook and WhatsApp. Several hours after the attacks, local police had security forces raid a house in Colombo, during which three officers died from suicide bomb explosions. Sunday's violence punctures a decade of relative peace in the country following the end of its civil war in 2009. Sri Lanka has since turned itself into a popular tourist destination.